sorry I got interrupted in the middle of that. My phone ended up dying. Even if it took a long time, it still seems so abrupt sometimes. No more anxiety over whether you said enough. By the way, you may have picked pile one as well because pile one was about, you know, shyness or hesita hesitation to express yourself and feeling like because of that you didn't express enough. And it's okay. It's okay. It may have happened very quickly, even though it may have taken a long time to get there. It may have been some something like cancer or something like, you know, uh, kidney disease or kidney disease is a big one but remember that everything that happens happens for a reason and life it's a circle of life like in the lion king you know the the lions die and they feed the grass which feeds the antelope and the antelope feed the feed the lions you know everything happens for a reason and there was a transformation that needed to occur and this opens the pathway for that So there's a need here to look within yourself, to see your strength and your stability, your, your ability to adapt and be flexible and to overcome challenges and to really be alert and aware. You know, there may be something that needs to be said, but you know, you may have a habit of saying it in a direct, blunt way, you know, and maybe, maybe even what you said, you, you really held it back, you held it back and you held it back. And here's the thing, even if they're even if they're gone now, they're not really gone. Energy never really dies. It just transforms, you know, and they are always there with you. And I've gotten some massive clues to that myself since the last couple years, a couple family members passed away. And I've had a lot of, a lot of verification that they are here with me all the time. You can say what you need to say. It's time to stop holding back from expressing what you need to express. Because if you hold that back, that's when you end up lashing out and hurting others. And you really are a calm, gentle, beautiful soul. Somebody who is very deeply beautiful. And, you know, this person wants you to stop beating yourself up over not expressing what you needed to express. And if you need to say it, they want you to know that they can hear it. They can hear you loud and clear. So say what you need to say. Effortless, creativity, sensitive, mystic. So you are somebody really who is very, very spiritually connected. <clears throat> You have a very heightened level of creativity and sensitivity. Writing, creating, and reflecting will help you a lot. It's a potent and healing energy. Don't take it lightly. You know, it's something that helps you to express your inner voice, to allow it to be heard, even if it's just on a piece of paper. You know, and... Yeah, really, just being able to express yourself would help you so immensely. And this person just wants you to be able to express yourself so you're not holding in all that pain and hurt and sadness. And so you're not feeling like you didn't say what you needed to say. Directness, exposure, revealing true nature and desire. And, you know, they want you to be yourself. They don't want you to stop to hold back from being yourself anymore. They want you to express who you truly are and be who you truly are. Because from the other side, they get a different perspective on it too. And sometimes they see that maybe they said things that they shouldn't have said that hurt you, that caused you to feel like you couldn't be your true self. And they know that you're just this loving, intuitive, graceful, beautiful woman. If you're a woman, you know, regardless of gender, this energy is available to all creatures, but it's especially potent in new parents. You're somebody who's usually fully present, nurturing, calm, stable. You radiate a sense of grace. You're able to maintain your dignity under disastrous situations. You know, you're somebody who really affects other people's in that way too. They draw them towards them with a quiet tenderness, you know. There may be a birth or a celebration of new life as well. There's a situation that calls for absolute gentleness and compassion. Gentleness and compassion with yourself. Being able to let go of the pain, guilt, shame, you know, anything that you're holding on to. Just let it go. Allow it to fall away. You know, express what you need to express and then 
Know that you will be together again. You protect all that you love with a fiery passion. <clears throat> Your wisdom awakens others to new perspectives. They are able to see within themselves deeper. Maybe you communicated a lot to this person that allowed them to see within themselves so many new perspectives, you know, and they're telling you that you said so much, even if you don't even know it. You are fearlessly true to yourself. Your values come first and you held firm to your values and you stood up for yourself. And, you know, maybe you're feeling guilty about that because they're gone now. And, and maybe you had a lot of tense conversations before they were, but that's because you wanted them to know who you were before they were gone. You wanted to make sure that they were okay with who you were instead of having them leave and wondering, you know? And they don't want you to wonder. They love you exactly the way you are. They love your fire, your passion, your morals, your, you know, that you stick true to yourself. You're reliable, stable, strong. You're always there when needed and you remain grounded in hard times. And once again, Pile One had something about being there for anyone when needed. <clears throat> I am on the mend from past pain. I don't want my scars to hurt you. And this person had a lot of past pain. They had a lot of scars. They may have said a lot themselves that really caused you to feel like you had to be less than what you are. Maybe they didn't believe in your spiritual nature, you know, and it caused you to have some doubt in yourself. And they want you to know that that was only their past pain and scars. And that's what was hurting you in that. You are a beacon of hope for all around you. You're an inspiration. You're a light in the dark. You are somebody beautiful and amazing and sweet. And, you know, maybe this person was a little... Maybe they didn't like that because they felt you were vulnerable being this person. But they don't want you to feel that way anymore. They want you to know that they love you as this person. So that's what I have for you in this pile. I would love to hear your feedback in the comments below or if this resonated with your situation. Sending you love and light, you know, in, in your life. I hope that you are able to release and to feel their presence with you and to know that it's true, no matter what they may have said in the past, that they really are there with you. And we're on to pile three. Come in. I'm right in the middle of the video, huh? Uh, okay, Alright, it shouldn't be too much longer. So for pile three, you know, this may have been a very good friend who passed away. Someone who really helped you to enjoy life and celebrate the little things. And you know, they also could be watching you make friends and celebrate life and enjoy the little things and really starting to be yourself too, you know, and the very calm energy, calm, loving energy surrounds you. They want you to know that a very calm, loving, protective energy surrounds you as you're starting to make new friends and celebrate and go out and have fun. You know, maybe you're somebody who didn't do a whole lot of that before, you know, you might have felt a little vulnerable and maybe you still do and they want you to know that they're there protecting you. One is never gone when love for them still remains. Love will remain long after the pain has receded. Grief and pain are normal, but you, but know that you are not alone. Reach out to others. And my nephew gave me this. My, one of my best friends gave me this. Both of them, you know, to help me when I was in a time of sadness. And one of my ex's sisters actually gave me this. So, you know, it could really be somebody in your life that you were close to that was a friend or a family member. <clears throat> know that you're not alone. Reach out to the people around you. Reach out to your friends. Reach out. Have fun. Enjoy life. Take time for the little things. Find peace and calm within yourself. You know, don't, don't hide away alone. Know that you have people around you. Look after yourself. Don't forget that you are still here. Honor my memory. Hold me dear, but cherish, cherish your life while you are still here. 
yes, this person really just wants you to find happiness. They want you to enjoy life. They want you to celebrate life. They want you to have fun. They want you to go out with your friends. They want you to talk to people. They want you to interact with people. They want you to know that even if they're gone, their love is always there. It'll never be gone. It's in your heart and you can't change that. And everything they word you and everything they meant to you is always right there with you. And energy never dies. They are here and they want you to know that it is normal to feel sad and upset but it's not normal to stay living there and they want you to get out and enjoy your life because you still have a life right now you may not tomorrow tomorrow may never come and they want you to live your life while you have it yes you're somebody very Oh, they want you to just see the magic in life and the enjoyment and they want you to know that each cycle has to come to an end so a new beginning can happen <clears throat> they want you to believe your dreams can come true and they want you to take action to go after them they want you to have fun they want you to enjoy life they want you to be optimistic hopeful happy they want you to really step up into your power and to take action to make things happen to come out of this depression and pain and hurt that you're in you see the patterns around you and help others awaken too. You treat others as important and worthy no matter their station in life. You are a born leader with courage and heart. You move swiftly and fearlessly in all that you do. <clears throat> you are very high energy. Your presence is felt. Your love and light fills up any room that you enter. Your sense of humor brings lighthearted energy to any situation. I am always with you. Feel the love I am sending your way. You are not alone. You have been through so much struggle, but always find your balance again. You love the earth, animals, plants, and people. You are very connected to the energy. So this person wants you to see your true self again. They want to see you living to your fullest. They want to see you in your happy, beautiful state again. And they don't want their death to be causing you so much pain. You know, if I ever die, I would be so hurt and heartbroken to watch people fall to pieces over me. I would want them to live their life. I would want them to be happy and to celebrate. I don't want a funeral. I don't want 50 people in black mourning my death and crying. I want people to celebrate, to love, to have happiness in life. And that's how I want them to remember my name and to live my memory. And that's how this person wants you to live their memory and to remember them is by loving yourself and loving your life and living it to the fullest reconnecting to your higher wisdom and your divinity within stop questioning what's real they want you to know that all the feelings that you are having are real that they really are with you in in your day-to-day -day life and you don't have to question it know that it's true you are the unicorn and you have become become your quest quest for answers you are questioning, exploring, and contemplating the inexplicable. It's time to do that. It's time to question things. It's time to take action. It's time to step into your power and to really move forward knowing that you can overcome anything and knowing that you will find that happiness again and that peace again. Solar force, action, achievement, masculine energy. You're someone who naturally attracts an audience to bear witness to your achievements. Purpose and passion are your best fuel. They want you to move forward. They want you to take action. And they want you to do it in a playful way. They want you to get out there and to do new things, try new things, experience new things, to live your life to the fullest. Because they really just don't want you to stay stuck anymore. So that's what I have for this pile, and I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear how this resonated for you <clears throat> in the comments below. And I actually do have personal readings that I'm offering now as well. My email is earthangel1133 at yahoo.com, so if you're interested, go ahead and check that out. I hope you have a beautiful night, day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye.